Today we're going to talk about the differences between a single leg sprayer, sprayer and a plural component sprayer. So first let's talk about how do we process material in a single leg sprayer. Typically it comes in two, two buckets, one larger, one smaller. The smaller one gets dumped into the larger one where we mix it for a period of time. In some cases it can be a couple of minutes to five minutes. The trouble with that is some cases people are in a hurry. But when you're in a hurry, you don't spend the time it needs to mix. Then you get changes in viscosity and spray quality sometimes uh, can be difficult or you end up using more pressure than what's needed. So how do we mix it? You know, after we mix it, we need to feed it. So we can feed it with the siphon tube that you just saw or we can put it in a hopper. The challenge with the siphon tube is that in some cases the material is fairly thick and it may not fully load. That's when you need to move to the hopper. Other things is that if it's really, really thick, then we just we have to pressure feed it and it's not the best for a single leg. Then if we're using a large amount of material, we need to dispose of those containers. A lot of times they come in five gallon buckets and when you have hundreds and hundreds of them, they need to be disposed of properly. Then when we're done uh, at the end of the day, if we're taking a break at lunchtime or just a break throughout the day, Depending on the pot life of the material, you may need to waste what's in that container. Because by the time you get back from the, your break, um, it'll be hardened up. So you waste the material that's left over, then you have to flush the complete system out from the siphon tube, through the lower, through the hose, out to the gun. And that's going to take 15, 20, 25 gallons depending on the type of material you're trying to flush out. So therefore, now you have, this, a, lot of, you have a lot of solvent you're being used. You have quality of work life. You know, you're constantly around solvent. You have to wear the proper PPE. And so it can be difficult sometimes to use a single leg sprayer. So now let's talk about the plural component. So the plural component, You're going to take the two materials, it's going to be an A and a B. Sometimes it's in five gallon containers, sometimes it's in a 55 gallon container. When it's in a 55 gallon container, we can use a feed pump to independently feed your A and your B pump, making it easy to use and process large quantities of material. So the nice thing is, now that we're, if we're using a lot of material, we can also take that large quantity of material, feed it into our lowers, and out of the lowers comes into our mixing block. The nice thing with this mixing block is that it can either be mounted to the machine or we can take it off and remotely mount it. What that does for us now is the two materials are separate until they reach the mix manifold. Why is that important? It's important because when we go to flush, all we're flushing out is our static mixers here. We also have some uh, spray line and a gun. In some cases, you know, about 35 feet. In other cases, it could be longer, but it's a lot less than 20 to 25 gallons of flushing. You know, at that point, you're using four or five, six, seven gallons to flush it out, a lot less. So another thing is that if you do forget to flush it out, you go over the pot life and now everything's hardened up. On a plural component sprayer, all you lose is your flush or your mix line and your gun. Versus on the single leg, you lose your siphon tube, you lose your pump, and you lose your spray hose and your gun. So quite, quite a lot more expensive. Last thing that's really useful about a plural component is the fact that you can use short pot life materials. When I say short pot life, we're talking about quick set materials that are 10, 10 minutes to two minutes in pot life. Well, you can't do that with a single leg because in two minutes you cannot mix the material up, get it through the machine and spray it out and flush in time. With plural component, because we're taking the two materials and independently pumping them to a mix manifold, we can go out 100 feet or so, depending on the material, have a short mix and integration spray line, and we spray it, and then we can flush that line out fast enough before the pot life 
expires. Thank you for your time.